Hello and welcome. And now let us prepare simplex table 3. Uh, in the second simplex table, key column is x3, key row is a2, or rather r6, key limit is 3 by 2. So the third row of second table is key row. So we have to first replace the third row. That means in the simplex table 3, we have to write the third row. That will be r6 plus 3, r9. Formula will be R6 divided by key element 3 by 2. Anything divided by 3 by 2 is multiplied by 2 by 3. So, 2 third of R6. 1 by 3 into 2 by 3 is 2 by 9. 0 into anything 0. 3 by 2 into 2 by 3 is 1. 0 into anything 0. 3 by 4 into 2 by 3. 3, 3 cancel. 2 by 4. 1 by 2. And here it will be 180 into 2 by 3. 360 by 3 is 120. Now it will be turn off first row. R4 plus 3. R7. The formula is old row R4. Minus sign. Element in the key column. 7 by 2 into the replaced row R9. So R4 minus 7 by 2 R9. Now what will be here? 5 by 2 minus 7 by 2 into 2 by 9. So it is 5 by 2 minus 7 by 9. Let us take a chance to go for rough work. 5 by 2 minus 7 by 9. Let us take 18 as LCM. 18 by 2 is 9 into 5, 45. Minus sign 18 by 9 is 2 into 7 is 14. So ultimately it comes to 31 by 18. 31 by 18. Now next is 0. 0 minus 7 by 2 into 0. So it is 0 minus 0. Ultimately it is 0. 7 by 2. Minus 7 by 2 into 1. So it is 7 by 2 minus 7 by 2. That is 0. 1 minus 7 by 2 into 0. So it is 1 minus 0. 1. 1 by 4 minus 7 by 2 into 1 by 2. That is 1 by 4 minus 7 by 4. 1 by 4 minus 7 by 4 is minus 6 by 4. Minus 6 by 4 is equal to minus 3 by 2. 480 minus 7 by 2 into 120. 7 by 2 into 120. So it comes to 60. Now it is turn of R8. R8 will take place of R5. Formula is old row R5 minus sign element in the key column 1 by 2 into replaced row R9. So R8 will be R5 minus 1 by 2 R9. R5 is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 2 by 9. 2 2 cancel. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 9. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 9. Nine. What is minus uh, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 9? What will be the result? 9 minus 1, 8. 8 by 18, is it? Let us take chance of rough work. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 9. We have to take LCM of 18. 18 by 2 is 9. 9. 18 by 9, 2. 2 into 1 is 2. So it is 7 by 18. 7 by 18. 1 is R5 minus 1 by 2 into 0. So 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 1. So it is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. 0. Now 0 is R5 into uh, sorry minus 1 by 2 into 0. So it is 0 minus 0, 0. Minus 1 by 4. Minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 4, minus 1 by 4. So minus 2 by 4 is minus 1 by 2. 
120 minus 1 by 2 into 120. 120 minus 60 it is 60. Now it is turn of ZJ. But before writing ZJ, we have to write the variables. Um, in first row, no change will be there because first row was not selected as key row. Second row was also not selected as key row. So the variable will be x2 as it is. A2 is dropped now because it is outgoing variable and in its place the element of key column that is x3. x3 takes the place of A2. So now the coefficients are 0, for x2 it is 3, for x3 it is 4. Now we can write zj. Uh, 0 into anything is 0, 3 into 7 by 18 plus 4 into 2 by 9. If we simplify it comes to 37 by 18. 37 by 18. Okay, now next is 0 into 0. 3 into 1, 3, 0 into 4, 0, 0 plus 3 plus 0, 3. Similarly, 0 into 0, 0, 3 into 0, 0, 4 into 1, 4. 0 into 1, 0, 3 into 0, 0, 4 into 0 also, 0. 0 into minus 3 by 2, 0, 3 into minus 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2, plus 4 by 2. That is 1 by now, first of all, delta J values 2 minus 37 by 18. So it is 36 minus 37 by 18 minus 1 by 18. 3 minus 3, 0, 4 minus 4, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. All delta values are 0 or negative. Since this is maximization problem. And all delta J values are 0 or negative. This is the optimal solution of our original linear programming problem. This is the optimal solution. So we have to calculate ZJ value. What will be the ZJ value? 3 into 60, 180. Plus 4 into 120, 480. 180 plus 480, 660. Now, x1 is not in the optimal solution, so value of x1 is 0. Let us write optimal solution. x1 is equal to 0 because, because it is not in the column of solution variable in the optimal solution. x2, the solution value against x2 is 60. x3, the solution value against x3 is 120 and maximum z comes to 660. This is the optimal solution of our linear programming problem through big M method. So this was the third last simplex table and we got the optimal solution as x1 equals to 0, x2 equals to 60, x3 equals to 120 and maximum z is 660. Mind well, in case of maximization, the sign of m coefficient of artificial variable will be minus in case of objective function. That's it. Thank you very much.